Right, hello. So in today's video, I am gonna be doing a little review of the Skinny Foods products that I recently bought and like a haul. I can't do a massive like review of everything because I haven't tried everything enough for me to give like a 100% opinion on everything, but I do have like my first impressions. Also, if you wanna see like any of this stuff being used, then just subscribe because I am gonna be doing some what I eat in a day videos soon so you'll be seeing me making some of the things but i do have a variety of different things so i have some sauces some syrups and the pancake mix and that kind of stuff if you don't know what skinny foods is it's basically a website that sell extremely low calorie products and some most of their products is zero calories when it comes to sauces and syrups a lot of people have their opinions on skinny foods or of things like that and that's fair enough people will often say that they would rather have the normal sauces and the normal syrups because they are happy to have the calories rather than put in like artificial sweeteners and flavorings into their body because obviously these are zero calorie and to get zero calorie you have to you know sacrifice the fact that you are going to be putting different things into your body that can sometimes for some people react with their metabolism a little bit and i know that some people say it triggers their ibs I've been fine with them. I don't have any problems with my metabolism anyway, and I'm fine with everything um, that goes on. And these, I would say, in my personal opinion, that these are the kind of products and things that you will only consume or buy if you're wanting to lose weight. I wouldn't recommend them for people that are not interested in losing weight because there's no point. You might as well just have the normal things and that is exactly what I'm gonna do as soon as I hit my goal weight is I'm just gonna go back to my normal sources and just not eat as much. I think having these will encourage me to eat less um, sauce in the future anyway because you don't wanna overload. A, due to the fact that you don't want to have to buy these again because they are quite expensive and B, because the flavour is obviously not as nice so it does encourage you to eat less and, you know, less calories. The reason why I wanted to get these is because I'm obviously like restricting my calories and making sure that I'm in a deficit. If you aren't in a calorie deficit, you won't be able to lose weight. So I just like to make sure that I'm getting my calories with my fruit, vegetables, carbs, everything like that. I don't wanna be eating empty calories in sauces and like sugar or anything like that. I wanna get my calories from like good stuff. So that's why I bought these, but you know, you can have your own opinions about things like this, but this is just what I've got. So I'm gonna give my little review of each product and which ones I like more and which ones I probably, you know, might not recommend, etc. Because I know that a lot of people, especially in the chat, uh, the group that I'm in on Facebook, the Happy Body Plan group, a lot of people say that they taste disgusting. Um, but then again, like what, they don't taste disgusting, but it's like, what do you expect for zero calories? Like if you're expecting it to taste the same, then you know, your expectations are too high because they're zero calories. So obviously they're not gonna be the same, but I am gonna start. I have got a box. I did order quite a lot of stuff. And if you order like over 30 pounds of stuff, you get a free item and free shipping. So that's what I did. I thought I'm just gonna do this now and get stuff. The first things is pancakes. So I saw on the website that they had these pancakes and that's something that I really have been like wanting is pancakes. And I just know that, you know, A, pancakes have a lot of calories and B, what you put on them has a lot of calories, um, which is fine if you're not wanting to lose weight, but if you are, then it's just not the kind of thing that you can have too often. But these, this is the Skinny Food Low Sugar Pancake Mix. Per pancake is 27 calories, so that's discluding anything you put on it. It's just the pancake itself. It is obviously one of like the smaller pancakes you can kind of see on here, like it is like a, almost like an American pancake rather than like a bigger one. But I do tend to make mine a little bit bigger and they're just thinner. I do like these. Now, I think with these is I struggled for them to come out of the pan and to not stick when I used the low calorie spray that I also bought, which I'll show you in a second. I used oil with it, just a tiny little bit of olive oil, um, not of olive oil, vegetable oil in the pan and 
they didn't stick at all so i think it's kind of like a balance i'm having a healthier or well not healthier i'm having a lower calorie pancake so therefore i can have a little bit of oil to cook it in rather than you know being too too low so i'm happy to do that um they this actual like packet serves 10 pancakes it did actually say on the website it serves three but that doesn't mean three pancakes which i thought it meant that it means three people so each packet makes 10 pancakes so i did actually buy two and i'm glad i did because the pancakes themselves do taste really good they do taste you know just like a pancake and all you need to do is add this mixture to water and or milk um obviously that would add more calories that's all that you need to do i do add mine to milk and then add your toppings on and you can add on things like i add on Greek yogurt, so my Greek yogurt's fat free. So fat free um, Greek yogurt, and also I add on some frozen berries that I'm um, like microwave to make them really warm, add that on top, and then some zero calorie syrup, which I'll show you in a second. But out of 10, I would rate these a good nine out of 10. They're definitely one of the better things that I bought from Skinny Foods. And yeah, really happy with those. And it just means that you can have a treat that's not too high in calorie. This is something I would have as like my afternoon snack with my berries and my yogurt and I think that's quite good. Um, next thing is this, it's the skinny three calories per cup chocolate mocha. It's the chocolate mocha flavoured coffee and it's got sweeteners in it so this is sweet. I got this because I'm not like the most biggest coffee drinker ever, I don't really drink that much coffee but when I do I do like a good mocha like if I'm going out or like when I say out if I'm going out to a coffee shop not out in the evening um but if I'm going out just for a drink um in the daytime I like a mocha because it's like a chocolatey flavor um this you don't need to add milk to it it is just kind of how it is it does taste chocolatey it does taste quite nice it does have that artificial sweetener taste so obviously it's not going to taste exactly the same it doesn't taste creamy at all but if you're the kind of person that, you know, at the end of the day, this has got three calories in per cup. If you're expecting it to taste exactly the same, then, you know, you need to just reassess what you're thinking because obviously it's not going to. But you can add some milk to it as well if you just want to increase the calories a little bit um, or if you want it to taste maybe a little bit better. But it is fine without and this has got a lot of servings in it. I've used this twice already and it's still completely full to the top. So I would recommend these. They do have other flavours and things on the website. And yeah, out, out of 10, I would rate this an 8 out of 10. And I think that's quite good for something that's such like low in calorie. I don't drink this that often. I would probably have this like once every couple of days. So this this is obviously they are expensive these products so they're not the kind of products to buy if you're going to be having you know six or seven cups of this a day this is like once every few days kind of thing um as like a little treat that's you know low in calorie okay so i got like two syrups or two syrupy kind of things just to focus that again the first one is this this is the skinny syrup zero calorie chocolate flavor syrup with sweetener so this is what i put on my pancakes like i said yogurt berries then this zero calorie it doesn't you know taste exactly the same as a, uh, a chocolate syrup but if you just put a little bit of this on it does add that kind of chocolatey flavor and it's you know completely fine and tastes good i would recommend this if you're the kind of person that likes pancakes and you just don't want to have those like calories on there it does have that like artificial sweetener taste but that doesn't really bother me with something like this so yeah i do really like that i am glad that i picked that up and i would rate this a eight out of ten and it does smell really nice as well. Also, when you get your products from Skinny Food, I would recommend not tasting them like all in one go when you first got them on a spoon because I don't like the taste of sauces anyway when I taste it on a spoon because you're not meant to eat it on its own. You're meant to eat it with other things. So I'd recommend like trying the product with other things. Otherwise, you know, the flavor's obviously gonna be different because you're just trying it on its own. It's hard to explain what I mean. Um, but next, the next syrup that I got and the final one that I got was the skinny syrup it's zero calorie maple syrup again with sweetener and this I got just again for pancakes or something I haven't been using this for pancakes I've actually been adding this to my porridge 
just to give it that sweetness without adding any calories to it just a little bit of this or i add it into like a coffee or something i don't have any sugar in my tea i haven't had sugar in my tea for years i did used to drink um sugar in my tea years ago but then my dad quit sugar in his tea or he was just talking about it i don't know i was quite young um and i thought i'm gonna set myself a challenge to not drink sugar in my tea and now i can't have sugar in my tea because i love the taste of it without it's like a completely different drink it's just more refreshing and nice so this is definitely something that i would put in a coffee if you're a coffee drinker and you have a lot of sugar in your coffees you are going to be adding like so many calories to your daily like intake and this is definitely something that i would recommend because it adds that sweetness to the coffee that you would get from the sugar without adding any calories and that is a good thing unless of course you're not losing weight then you don't need to do that but it's just for those people that want to lose some extra pounds and they don't want to give up the coffees and the sugar that they drink so yeah this is a really good one rating this out of 10 and 9 this is definitely something that i would recommend from their website oh yeah before i get on to sources i'm not sure if this counts as a sauce or a syrup um oh no it is a syrup i've just read it so this is the skinny syrup zero calorie peanut butter now obviously this is not the texture of peanut butter this is a lot runnier a lot thinner it is basically like a syrupy kind of texture oh yeah like i said if you do subscribe and watch my what in it what uh, uh my what i eat in a day videos then you will see these syrups being used in my foods but i do add this to my porridge i used to add peanut butter to my porridge and that is what racked the calories up quite a lot which is fine if you've got them to spare or if you you know want to eat more kind of like fats that are a little bit healthier than like you know sweets and crisps and stuff then peanut butter is okay in small amounts but i just wanted to get this just whilst i'm losing weight and then afterwards i can go back to my normal peanut butter this does have a nutty flavor it doesn't taste very sweet which is you know fine because it's peanut butter even though peanut butter does have sugar in it as well um but yeah it does have that nutty flavor so when i add a little bit into my porridge you can taste it it is obviously different and it isn't something that maybe you would you know eat out of the actual like container or it's not something that you would spread on toast or anything like that because it is like a syrup i definitely just add this to things rather than have it on its own i also added it to a stir fry that i did it was like noodles vegetables things like that and i like stir fries when they've got like nuts in or peanut butter in and i thought oh i'll add some of this and that was really nice this adds like a nutty flavor so if you're the kind of person that likes adding peanut butter inside like recipes and things then this is probably something to go for but eating it on its own or on toast or something you're just not gonna like i don't think um but if you do let me know so i got that then i got this which is the oh my camera's gonna turn off yeah it always turns off at 16 minutes in just in case i accidentally leave it on that's what it does um but this is the skinny sauce virtually zero tomato ketchup um so it's not quite zero calories but basically it is this does smell just like tomato ketchup however the taste of it is something that you have to kind of get used to and i can understand why a lot of people won't like this at the end of the day it's zero calories the things that's in here are artificial things artificial flavorings and it's stuff that's going to have that like aftertaste you can taste it afterwards and it's like almost like a little fizzy taste so it's not everybody's cup of tea but i just like to have this like a little bit like i had a um, mushroom and tomato frittata this morning for breakfast and i added a little bit of this on top and it just means that you're kind of lowering your like want for the sauce i don't know what i mean um but on my cheat days i will have normal sauce but um it's just good for like day to day and yeah i do like this but i would say it does in comparison to normal ketchup have like a little artificial um artificial sweetener flavor and i know that some people wouldn't like this and it does kind of have a sweet flavor so it is like a little bit odd but i think i would probably rate this a six or seven out of ten so yeah that the sauces aren't as good as the syrups but i still like them oh apart from this one this is okay i can eat it however it does not 
like have anywhere near the texture of mayonnaise this is the skinny sauce virtually zero original mayo and it says it's got sweetener in it you can taste the sweetener like this does taste sweet and mayonnaise does not taste sweet like normally when you eat mayonnaise well, obviously it does have sugar in it but you can't really you know it doesn't scream out oh this is sweet but this does and that's why it is a little bit odd the texture of it is very kind of like runny however this is the kind of thing that i would put on like a salad so it's like almost like a dressing rather than like a sauce and it does encourage you to eat less but if you're the kind of person that eats a lot of mayonnaise I don't think you would like this and I don't think that you would be happy with the substitution to this because you would still feel like you're missing out on mayonnaise mayonnaise is not something that you should really be eating if you're trying to lose weight because it does have so many calories in it like it has a ridiculous amount of calories in it and a very high amount of fat so just bear that in mind if you're eating your meals and tracking your calories but you're not tracking sauces or oils then you just really need to because you can really rack up the calories with those this I would probably give it a three or four out of ten four being generous so yeah i probably would give this a three out of ten um i do still eat it and i do like it but it's not a substitute for mayonnaise in my opinion it's more like a salad dressing so that's why um but yeah that's this one okay second to last i got this this is the one calorie butter oil spray and basically you can spray this into the pan to cook things or you can just spray it onto like a salad or something like that it says um but that's not what i'm going to be doing i did try this with the pancakes and they stuck but i think that's because of the texture of the pancakes as well um but i'm i'm fine with that but i do use this to cook vegetables in and to fry my vegetables in and they've been frying absolutely fine so yeah obviously you do get fry light in the supermarkets this isn't something that you need to get it's not something that stands out from what you get in the supermarket but i just got this to kind of rack up my order to 30 pounds so i could get free shipping and my free product then i got my free item as well which they don't tell you what it is until you get it it's a surprise free item but i was very excited when i got this this is the skinny sauce virtually zero for cheese flavored sauce so this is basically a cheese sauce i was so excited it does smell quite cheesy i can't really smell it too well out there but i have this on salad so basically i'll make a salad and i'll just drizzle a little bit of this over i don't really know what you're meant to use cheese sauce with like what are you meant to eat it with i have no idea i I'm, i just can't think um so i just have it on a little bit of salad like a dressing like i would with the mayonnaise this is one of the favorite things that i've got this does taste quite good it doesn't you know taste extremely cheesy and it does have that kind of artificial flavor but it out of all of the sauces this one is the best one so i'm very glad that they put it in and i do love cheese if you hate cheese you will hate this so much you honestly hate this so much um but if you like cheese then you might like this so i would rate this particular product um an eight out of ten Oh, and it says it's gluten-free. I think most of their products are gluten-free. I think they're almost everything free apart from artificial flavourings, really. Right, so I think that's everything. Right, that is everything from my haul. Why is it not focusing again? There we go. Right, yeah. So that's everything from my haul of items and things that I got from Skinny Foods. I will be including these products in future videos. I might include them in favourites videos and things or hate the videos i do my favorite my no, my feelings favorites and faves which i'm gonna film after this video where i talk about things that i like and also dislike so you might see some of those products in upcoming ones of those videos um but just to round up favorite thing i bought was the pancake mixture would recommend second favorite probably the syrup i also really like the cheese sauce and i also like the coffee i would recommend these a lot uh least favorite is the mayonnaise and probably the ketchup but this is definitely you know the least least favorite considering it's naming itself mayonnaise um but yeah so that's everything that i got remember to like this video if you liked it and leave me a comment if it's negative you will be gone 
so just saying um and please subscribe for more videos on my channel and more like food related content because that's what i'm doing right now and people seem to be liking it so thanks for watching and i will see you in my next video goodbye